Here's how to live edit 360 images in Affinity Photo. Okay, so here I've got a two by one equirectangular 360 image. And what I can do is go to Layer, Live Projection, and choose Equirectangular Projection. Okay, and what this does is put us in a live projection mode. So I can click drag around and pan around inside the 360 image. Now on the context toolbar here, we have heading and pitch up here, and these will allow us to adjust our position within the 360 projection. And then we also have field of view, so we can tighten or widen the field of view just by using this slider here. Now we can also edit elements within the 360 image. So if I just look at the bottom here, I've got myself and the car as I'm operating a drone. So I can remove these two elements from the image. And to do that, I can just long click on the healing brush tool and select the in painting brush tool. Okay, then I'll just use the right bracket key to increase the brush width. And I'll just brush over the car and also myself stood there, then release the mouse button. Okay, so that will intelligently remove and replace those two elements in the picture. But now because we've selected another tool, we can't pan around within our 360 projection. So to get back to that, we can do one of two things. Either we can go to Layer, Live Projection, and go to Edit Live Projection, and there's also a keyboard shortcut for that. Or we can select the Move tool, and we have on the Context toolbar here, Edit Live Projection, and that just gets us back to being able to pan around our 360 image. We can also put adjustment layers on top of the 360 image. So if I just open up the Layers panel here, I might, for example, add an HSL adjustment. So I can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, add an HSL adjustment, and let's just increase the saturation and increase the hue shift slightly to redden the tones. Then if I close that dialog down, again, we have the same issue. We can no longer pan around our 360 image. So all we need to do is select the background pixel layer once again, and because we've got the Move tool selected, we can do Edit Live Projection, and any adjustment layers or live filter layers will then render on top of the 360 Live Projection. Finally then, when we want to export our unmapped 360 image, all we need to do is come out of Live Projection. So we go to Layer, Live Projection, Remove Projection, and that will get us back to that two by one unmapped version of the 360 image, but this time with our edits made. So you can see the car and myself have been removed from the bottom of the image here. Okay, so there we go, a quick rundown of how to live edit 360 images.